Hi everybody, this is Pastor Rex. Uh, it's a Friday and I just want to do sort of a summary devotion today uh, that uh, deals with sort of what we've been talking about the last couple of weeks with the uh, development of godly character, that whole process of becoming uh, more like God in, in the way we live, in the way we act, uh, and everything about us beginning to reflect the nature of Christ. You know, uh, you know, several years ago, uh, you know, I, we, we moved up here to uh, the big city of Riverton, Wyoming, and uh, one of the first things you do in starting a new ministry is you go and you sort of get pictures taken and you develop a business card and you try to put your best smile on the business card, you know, and, and it has all the information. And if you go to someone's house, you may leave a card or you may give it to someone on a Sunday morning, but it's sort of your calling card. And uh, you want to make a good impression. And so you spend some time working on that. Well, you know, in a sense, um, over the past several weeks, you know, we've been talking about, as we mentioned, this process of developing godly character and uh, examining what God is doing in all of this. But today I just want to mention that your actions may be the first people, a thing that people see in you. And... Uh, they may look at those actions, but then they look deeper to see what is the character behind those actions. And you see, it's those actions and that character that underlies all of that that really is your calling card. In a sense, your character then is, is really your calling card. Uh, it tells people who you really are. It tells you, uh, it tells them what you do and why they can trust you. Uh, for the Christian, your calling card opens the door to the gospel that has transformed your life. Your calling card invites people to come to that Christ that, that you know, who has imprinted his character that we've talked about in the last couple of weeks, who has imprinted his character uh, upon your soul. So in a way then, your calling card not only represents you, it represents, uh, if it was a business card, it represents the company, that uh, you work for, it represents the owner of that company, and you are a reflection of uh, that corporation that, uh, or business that you represent. So in the same way then, the Christian calling card of your godly character not only represents you, your calling card of godly character represents Christ. When people look at you, hopefully, they are seeing the character of Jesus, that they are seeing that character of, of the Son of God imprinted deeply upon your inner being. And so you are not only representing you, you are representing the gospel that has transformed you. You are representing the Christ who now lives in you. You are representing the church, the body of believers that, that, that God is, is shaping into his image. And, uh, and you are, are uh, representing everything about the Christian way of life. So, believer, I encourage you then to have an impressive calling card. Develop it, shape it, and shine the light of Jesus. You know, show that calling card wherever you go and let people see Jesus in you. Anyway, maybe those are some random thoughts on a random day. But uh, I hope you make it a good day. All right? Bye for now. God bless.